quite a few things have been said about Indian economy. We are set to become the third largest. From the 10th position in 2013-14, we've moved over to fifth largest. And about the way in which this economy has been steered in the last 10 years and so on. But in the course of narrating how steps have been taken under the guidance of Honorable Prime Minister, I want to sort of weave it into a kind of narrative which, as students, you would certainly want to put that perspective before you when you talk about the Indian economy today or any other future times when you are uh, talking of economies of the world and economy India in this context. I'll begin where I mentioned that India will in the next few years move to become the third largest. And there are already lots of people say, oh, that's a given. We will at any cost be the third largest. It's all right. You don't need to take any credit for it. It's not the current government which is keen on taking credit for it. It's actually the people of India who should feel that they should get the credit and feel proud about it. It is the people of India who moved it from 10th to 5th and from 5th to the 3rd. To say that it can be a fait accompli and therefore there's no effort as though of the people of India is to undermine the importance of the entrepreneurs of India, the farmers of India, and actually the struggling low and economically weaker sections of India because against so many different odds, they are coming out and actually wanting to aspire for better. And it is their efforts which are really pushing us upwards. So there's no way in which I will accept if anyone says, oh, it's guaranteed that we'll move from five to three in the next few years, and you don't need a prime minister to say, I'll make sure that this country will move to the third rank. I think that is losing perspective of what it takes to move upwards and move for better prospects of our Indian citizens.